137507, you're pleading guilty to an amended count one of interference with transportation, which is a disorderly person's offense that has a statutory maximum of up to six months in jail, $1,000 fine, and a $50 VCCO. Do you understand that? That's the maximum for that one. Yes, sir. Okay. And then lastly, um, you have two cases where you have a violation of probation. Um, the underlying charge on the violation of probation, is it a third degree offense or a fourth degree offense, Mr. Linebacker? It's a fourth, two fourth degree offenses, right? Okay, so they're separate charges. All right, so there are fourth degree offenses. So on a violation of probation, you were looking at up to a maximum of 18 months in jail on that. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. But even though that you're looking at a total of the potential of 22 years in jail, your attorney has negotiated on your behalf. Kidding aside, you understand though, if when I put you on level three monitor, it's my last chance. I get it. Yeah, but if yeah, I'm gonna get you the buy maximum. I, I need to ask the relief to see if I come back. <laughs> if I support the police anymore, you're gonna throw the book at me. I get it. Yeah, and just so you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this recording of what you just said. Listen, you know, I you get, get it. it. You get it. Listen, he <laughs> told me to paint the fucking light again. <laughs> no. He told me to do it. I, I swear to God, he teased. <laughs> <laughs> he just told me on the way upstairs. All right. Well, don't do that. I won't. I all swear right. I'll support the police. I, right. this is, I was framed. All right. All right. Fair enough. But all kidding aside, you, so you're, you know what the consequences are if you violate. Fair yes, enough? Right. All right. And what the, it says in here that if you did violate, the three would be off the table. They could be asking yeah. for up to five. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Lastly, uh, well, it says in paragraph 21, public safety assessment when they run it there was 19 charges um, that I, I'm, I'm assuming we just sent a bunch of charges on there but w there was 19 of them plus the four new ones which would make 23 are they gone anything all on that cases, you, know, you understand the question right? yeah I do I absolutely do mr. lineback whatever he's not whatever he ultimately after uh, pleading guilty to these offenses anything that has to do with Mr. Giordano. All of his cases are subsumed into this global plea offer and anything else is being dismissed that he has outstanding, correct? That's correct, Ron. This is a global resolution that resolves all of his pending matters under the, there's seven Thomas Gavel numbers uh, with various warrants and summonses um, and all with individual charges. This globally resolves all of that as well as the pending violation of probation on both uh, matters that originated in Ocean County um, and I will just also note for the record, it's my understanding there's a, an eighth um, Monmouth County number that was assigned to a 2019 Ocean County matter under uh, Monmouth County number 21-700011. That corresponds with the case where uh, Mr. Giordano had already pled, was sentenced to time served, and there was no probation. And I can't say for certain, but it's my understanding that he was had to pay fines. So it was a dollar. I think it was a dollar left. Okay. Something I, crazy. Yeah, it was like a dollar or something. All right. So, so we'll figure that out by the time of sentence. So we'll have that taken care of. All the only thing I'm saying, the point I'm making is that it, it's possible that a probationary fines only payment account was opened, and then that case for some reason was transferred to Monmouth County and then signed a 2021 Monmouth County case number. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it was assigned here or brought here, but it, it appears to be that it's potentially because of an unresolved outstanding fine. If but I, the but point is, the short version is, nothing is going to be out open when this is over, correct. when this he's is, sentenced. It's, it's the state's intention to dismiss the charges uh, that are referenced in there, and to the extent that, that any were uh, inadvertently omitted, all pending matters are, are intended to be resolved uh, by way of this plea agreement. It's a global resolution in the interest of justice, you know, the, the dismissals aren't being made by, uh, as an indication on the, by the state one way or the other of a lack of probable cause, just but rather a global resolution in the interest of justice. Yeah, but and no one's saying that. Yeah. Mr. Gi Mr. Giordano, let me just be clear. So anything that relates to these, all these cases that you have, they're all going to be dealt with. But let me be extra clear. If something new happens between now and then, that, that has nothing to do with this agreement. You got me? Yeah. Okay. What was the question you want to ask? Uh, since Mr. Lyback's in such a good mood, I have like 300 municipal tickets right now. We want to throw those away too? All right. I guess not. I'm no, not I don't think so. Right? I don't think so. All right. All right. Is it, um, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll qualify that by all matters pending in, mis in uh, Superior Court. I know he violated probation by picking up traffic ticket summonses in Municipal Court. I don't know anything about those. They're not before the Superior Court. I can't dismiss them because they're not before Yeah, they're not before you. They're not Everything that's on that 19 session. charges that were brought to Superior Court are gone. Those they're being resolved by outside. Thank you, sir. Yep, take Thank care of that. All right. So, um, again, so th that's the entire plea agreement between you and the state, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And that's the plea agreement you want me to accept? Not only do I want you to accept it, but I'm not going to pull it back either. Okay. Well, that's we're going to get to that in a minute. Um, are you pleading guilty because you are, in fact, guilty of these offenses? I'm definitely guilty of these offenses. All right. Are, uh, did Mr. Mitchell go over the discovery with you in all of these cases and answer any questions you had about these cases to your satisfaction? No. What? <laughs> what got me what? Did you misunderstand the question? No, I definitely didn't. I'm still upset about discovery, but I'm still moving forward. Mr. Giordano, I can't accept a plea of guilty if you haven't barely had the time to look at your discovery. So that oh, the paper I know discovery? I looked it through and through. She's good. I read everything I did. They're accurate. The paper discovery is accurate. I read it. The police reports are accurate. He gave me a thousand pages. I read them back to back. I, I couldn't stop laughing. But me and the guys, they were hysterical. Uh, I read it through and through. Okay. So there, there is there is still some outstanding discovery. It's digital, but I know I know what they are. But for the the line share. Uh, oh, for what I'm what, what I'm what I'm being guilty today. today. There, the police reports are accurate, I read them. We've reviewed all of the relevant discovery as of today. There is outstanding discovery, and I do anticipate getting that so that Mr. Giordano has his full discovery by the time of sentencing for every Digital. individual case. However, in the interest of expeditiously getting this done today, getting him the surgery. Well, more than that, though, I, to be honest with you, know, this, the stuff I read, the police reports I read are accurate. I did those things that said, that said I did, the things I'm pleading guilty to. Okay. 100%. All right. There's, uh, I, I was, I was. <laughs> okay. I was just stay there. there. Yeah. Just stay. There. So then, with that being said, do you need any additional time to speak to Mr. Mitchell, or are you comfortable moving forward? I'm definitely comfortable moving forward, sir. All right. You need to understand, and you've already kind of said this, but once I accept you plead guilty here today on all these offenses, I'm not giving them back to you, even if you change your mind. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead guilty? Yes, sir. Um, Obviously, you're on, you were on probation because we have a VOP that we're dealing with today, correct? Yes. All right. And are you a United States citizen? I hope so, yes. Yes. And where were you born? Point, uh, Point Pleasant. Okay. And then lastly, by pleading guilty on each one of these offenses, you're giving up your right to a jury trial where the state would have to prove each and every element of the crimes charged against you to the satisfaction of a jury beyond a reasonable doubt. You're also giving up your right to have Mr. Mitchell confront the uh, state's witnesses on your behalf for each case. You understand that you're giving up those rights? Yes, Your Honor. Are you doing that freely and voluntarily? Yes, Your Honor. Lastly, you're giving up your right to remain silent because you're going to have to tell me today what you did that makes you guilty of these offenses. Are you going to give up that right? Yes, sir. All right. Are you doing that freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. All right. So what we're going to do is Mr. Mitchell is going to go methodically through each one, ask you questions. Uh, and then I will talk to you again. Okay, Mr. Giordano? Yes, sir. All right, thank you, sir. Go ahead, Mr. Mitchell. Thanks, Judge. Mr. Giordano, this is on uh, accusation 226979. Mr. Giordano, on February 28, 2021, were you in Tom's River? Yes. That's in Ocean County, correct? Yes. And there came a point in time uh, when you entered a link belt excavator? Yes, I did. And that didn't belong to you, right? No. And you, you drove that link belt escalator. I put, a, I put a pool in at my house, yes, sir. But did you, okay, so you, you were driving that excavator. Yes, sir. Without the permission of the owner, Fernando, I'm going to mess a cola. Correct. Okay, and when you did that, you temporarily deprived him of that property, correct? Yes. And you drove in such a way that you caused risk of damage to property? I'm charged with that? With damage to someone's property? No, no. no. Oh, well. <laughs> the word is risk. risk. It's not oh. potential. Yeah, I dug a pool. That could be risky to some people. Right, it was just your, in your operation of yes. that motor vehicle, correct? Yeah, that machine, yes. Anything further on that, Mr. Lineback? Next. 980. 
980. Guilty. Say okay, next. Uh, 981. Mr. Giordano, on March 22nd, 2021, you were again with Tom's River, correct? That's pretty much, yep, every time. And that's in Ocean County, right? Yes. Uh, and there came a point in time when Freedom Towing, I guess, towed your bucket truck, is that right? Yeah, you're, uh, yeah, yes, sir. So they had possession of your truck. Yes. And you, you owed the money to get your truck back, right? Yes. But you went into Freedom Towing's lot without permission? Yes. In order to take your truck back? Yes. To avoid paying? I, I took it to go tell the mayor to go screw himself, but I, right, but I you, put it in the mayor's parking spot, yeah. You went you went and took your bucket truck, Yeah. right, without paying? Yes. So you, that's technically a theft of service, right? Yes. And you understand by going in there without permission in order to commit a theft, you ultimately committed a burglary. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. And how are you pleading to that burglary? Guilty. Did I get a parking ticket for that? <laughs> Next. <laughs> This is 982. Uh, and then, Mr. Giordano, again, you were in uh, Tom's River? Seems to be a recurring thing, huh? Yes, sir. That's in Ocean County, right? Yes. There came a point in time when you came into possession. What's of, the date uh, on that one, Mr. Mitchell? Excuse me. Oh, October 16, 2021. Okay. October 16th? That's the day before my birthday. What happened then? This is uh, when the, you had the property of Michael Sendafani in your truck. Yeah. And it was a safe. It was a black box, ammunition box with a padlock on it, yes. Can we agree that the, the value of the safe and everything in it was more than $500? I have no idea, but I would assume so. That's what he said. There's some, he said there was some knives in there and stuff that I don't know, it was recovered. I gave it back to the police department. Okay, but at the time that you had possession of it, you had some text messages with him, right? Yeah, definitely. And you told him that you weren't going to give it back to him? That's all we did. We can go over this all day, but yeah, at the end of the day, I did technically withhold it. I told him to come pick it up at my house, yada, yada, yada. So technically, yes, I did obstruct him from getting it back right away. Okay, so you understand? You understand yeah, I understand the charge, sir. That by taking that action, you, you committed a theft in the third Yeah, period. definitely. And how are you pleading to that today? Yes, guilty. Next. All right. February 5th. 2022, you were again in Tom's River, right? That's yes. Mason County? Yeah. And there came a point in time when you uh, took a, a bleach bottle that was filled with water, right? Yeah. And some Christmas lights? Yeah. And a battery? Yeah. And you went and you put those... In, in front of Limebeck's office, yep. Can we agree? That that obstructed the roadway? Me? One million percent. Mr. Giordano, I know, I know you're being facetious. You didn't put it in front of Mr. Limebeck's office, so did you? Yeah. That's whose office? His specifically? No, it's kind of prosecutor's office. All right, that's what you did. Okay, all right, fair enough. I just want to make sure that I knew what you were saying. And can we agree that, that putting that in the roadway endangered or obstructed the safe operation of motor vehicles? Yes. Okay, violation of probation. When all these offenses occurred, you were on probation, correct? Yes. You understand that by committing new offenses and now pleading guilty, you've solidified your violation of probation? I solidified that thing 23 times. I apologize to her back there. She was a very nice probation officer. And then, Judge, just, just procedurally, because I, I did speak with the probation officer, there, there were some bulwarks uh, as far as Mr. Giordano leaving the state in order to get this surgery and go there to tomorrow. clear all the red tape with probation. I would just ask that given the plea that you terminate probation to, as of today, um, I didn't have an objection from the probation officer on that, but surely she can be heard. Uh, that'll just make everything else uh, a lot easier uh, moving forward, and he will be monitored on pretrial monitoring. Abilities in another county. Is there a time that works for you? I'm here all day. It doesn't on matter to me. I'm sorry? On December 9th? Yeah. I don't think I have anything scheduled at that point, so morning or afternoon is, is fine. You, you don't have a preference one way or another? No. All right. Then I'll do it for 9 a.m. Okay. Um, so, back. obviously I've read your submission for purposes of uh, the detention motion that was supposed to be uh, heard today. Uh, I don't know if you need to supplement it. You obviously know what I'm going to do already, but if you feel that you need to create any type of record 
I want you to do whatever that you feel comfortable with doing uh, under the circumstances. But I did read your initial submission. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, I would just uh, just reiterate that the state is objecting to, to his release today. He's pending um, the state prison sentence. You know, no, he's at an increased flight risk in light of that, and would just submit for all the reasons stated and arguments uh, noted in my uh, response brief dated June 15, 2022, that the state does object <coughs> to his release. Okay. Mr. Mitchell. Judge, I mean, I don't want to belabor it. Uh, I've made my point clear. Mr. Giordano needs this surgery. It was contemplated as, as part of the, this plea agreement uh, as a bargaining chip to try to get him out to get this surgery. So I would ask that you release him uh, on level three conditions. All right. Mr. Giordano, I'm going to release you today on level three. I had indicated I would do that, and I'm going to do it. Um, I find that even though uh, under the circumstances when you've been on, out on pretrial services in the past, that you didn't have a very good track record on it. And it's one of these things that you know now, knowing me long enough, that if you come back before me, you're sitting. And I'm going to get fried. If I, if I get into trouble, I'm going to get my, my sweet deal I can possibly get is going to be out the window. It is. And, and, but I, I am looking at your situation as that I respect the fact of your health. I want you to get the surgery that you need so that you can just move on with your life, both with these cases, but in, in health and moving forward. Mentally, physically, emotionally, yeah. I actually plan on getting past this. Yeah, and, we, and it's time. And, you know, it's, I, I know we, we kept it light here p today, but we, we really got to take this stuff seriously moving forward that you're going to you stay, st I don't know, wherever you're going to do or what you're going to do once you get out. but. Be very careful in the Tom's River area. Be careful with the things no, that you say. No, they stay away from me now. If I don't antagonize them, they don't come after me right now. Isn't that great? Yeah. So don't antagonize them. I've learned that this time. All right, good. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to release you on every one of your cases that you're on a warrant for, because on a summons you wouldn't. But on every case that you're on a warrant, that you're going to be released on level three monitor monitoring, which means that you're telephonically going to report once every other week and in person every other week. I'm not sure how they're doing it down there. It may all be just a phone call or a Teams, whatever it is. You shall refrain from any excessive use of alcohol or any use of a narcotic drug or other controlled dangerous substance without a prescription by a licensed medical practitioner. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. You shall refrain from possessing a firearm, destructive device, or other dangerous weapon. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Um, are, do you intend on after having the surgery to get employment, or what's your plan on that? Um, I, I, I'm, if I can breathe again. I have no idea what it'll be like. All right, so I'm not going yeah, to put not, that. I, I, I think anything's possible, life. Yeah, well, th well, my point is, is that I was, go I was going to, normally what I would say is that I want you to actively seek employment, but the doctor becomes first, so I'm not going to put that condition upon you. Obviously, it's better to get a job once you can to get moving in life, but um, I won't put that condition on you. Are there certain um, restrictions, Mr. Uh, Lineback, that you're be asking for no return to certain areas? Um. All right. Um, you shall not commit a new offense. Obviously, you know that, correct? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. All right. I think I got that out of my system this time. Uh, I hope so. So, look, while I want you to get back into whatever counseling that you were in before, I think it's important. Uh, I'm gonna, what I'm going to say is, is to pretrial services that once you get the surgery, that they can put any condition on you that they feel is necessary. So when, if, they, if they say something to you. I understand, they're just like probation. I know, but yeah, yeah but, do, but just hear me out so that I, you know that you've heard it from me. If they tell you to do something, you should assume it's coming out of my mouth. You're sitting in front of me and you just got to do it, okay? Yes, sir. All right, all right. At, um, at some point today, they got to process you out. If, I don't know how quickly that will happen, but you will be released today. Any, right, qu any questions, Mr. Giordano? Please, just be good. I promise. All right. All right, good luck to you. You be safe. All right, thank you, brother. All right, thank you. Thank you.